This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today's subject is lightening up. So, let's see, where do I begin with this? Well, first off, if you really want to learn something about lightening up, you'd probably be do better to hang out with my cat for a day. She seems to have it mastered but because you're hanging out with me today for 15 minutes best I have to offer is just my own personal experiences which involves quite a bit of uh, taking things a little too serious if you're a family member of mine, you'll know what I'm talking about, or maybe a previous co-worker. I have a memory when I used to paint billboards, it was actually just before I left that industry 20 years ago. Um, and some of you might know the mural that I was working on just before I left that industry, which is my Cooley Law School mural, kind of the first mural that got me out doing this um, full-time painting myself, doing mural projects and stuff. And this Cooley Law School mural was a 60-foot by 90-foot mural on canvas or not canvas it was actually vinyl but like a canvas vinyl um and <clears throat> i was painting it inside our shop so rolled it up and painted 14 feet of it at a time so the full length of it i think was 60 feet is that right? 60? No, I guess it would be 90 feet. Yes. 90 feet. So back then I was somebody who had a lot to prove, I guess. Um, and I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this painting here. Kind of. Anyway, back to the Cooley Law School mural. So. This is a unique project for me. Felt like a lot of opportunity in it. For me, I was probably, I don't know if at that time I was already heading to the billboard industry for one thing was changing. So it was obvious that there wasn't going to be painters or artists painting billboards much longer. So I'm sure I was looking at this as an opportunity for moving out and making myself a career as an artist. So I had a lot invested in this mural and and I remember trying to get the construction guys to help me with this huge vinyl roll, getting it up on top of the, the structures inside the, and <clears throat> wasn't going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> And I remember chucking a roll of duct tape at the foreman, the construction crew foreman, and they they all just laughed at me. It wasn't very funny to me. So one thing I've learned is when you're in the midst of your muddle, or somebody else is in the midst of their muddle, Telling them to lighten up is probably not the best thing, the best way to go about things.
So I guess the point of my story there is when I feel like I've got a lot invested in something, I can get a little over serious about it. And at that time, I was probably just wanting some help and f feeling too pride to really ask for it or allow myself to be vulnerable enough to ask for the help I needed. So sometimes lightening up is about maybe getting some help from somebody, somebody you can trust. Also remember, if you're watching these videos on Instagram or YouTube, you'll see the intro that I have for it. And about that time, 20 years ago, I have a really good friend, Tommy Tucker, who's living in Chicago at that time. And he was somebody I just felt so comfortable around, so safe with. And he helped me get that little logo design for my website. Um, he was into actually video animations and I went to art school with him. And I remember being up in the place he lived, which is a Frank Lloyd Wright bootleg house up in the loft and him helping me get signing up for a website he knew all this technical stuff and anyway it was basically the beginning of my career being out on my own and I was that's one of my fondest memories actually hanging out with him I was getting the help he was offering and still use that logo today Anyway, so what does this have to do with creating art? Well, I've shared this quote before. It's a good one, so I'll share it again. And it's Picasso saying something about, took me a few years to learn how to paint like Raphael. It's taken me a lifetime to learn how to paint like a child. Well, so what What if I'm not painting like a child? <laughs> Sometimes you have to go through maybe a temper tantrum in order to truly lighten up. I can remember several years ago a good friend of mine that I was painting with at the time and my wife Marianne they both were giving me messages about my art being a little bit dense and I probably got into some arguments about it, defending why I painted the way that I painted. And then uh, alone in my studio, I remember going through my artwork thinking about because I knew that they were getting at something that I needed to look at. So I went through all my art and I remember kind of breaking down in tears because I had this overwhelming feeling that all the art that I've done, I could only find one painting that really felt fresh and alive. And it made me feel like, oh, what a waste. Now, looking back on it, I see that it wasn't. You know, I was at where I was at with those paintings. And I found a place within those paintings where I could feel safe. Maybe 
proving feeling like I needed to prove to myself or prove to others that I was a good artist. And I, the way that I was painting allowed me to feel safe doing that. But I was probably at a stage with my work where Marianne, my friend, were just guiding me to lighten up a little because I was ready for it. And now, many years later, I can do these little 15 minute paintings and they're, they're pretty light, lightly handled. That's after how many years of getting there so you got to be where you're at and that's really the point of lightening up it's not about you don't have to have this childlike painting in order to lighten up lighten up basically is just saying hey let go a little bit you know, I've explored many kind of self-help or healing modalities. I'm playing around with this Wim Hof method, which I've mentioned, where you do these breathing rounds where you're essentially creating kind of a stress in your body, and then you're within that stress, you're finding relaxation. <clears throat> There's a lot of power in that. When we're in the midst of our muddle, if you can bring presence to that, uh, the shifts that happen. And if I'm pretending that I'm all joyful, when I, underneath I'm not necessarily that free maybe I'm looking to protect myself self-preservation probably not going to get to that part of myself it's really just looking for for love looking for safety just watched a movie last night, really good movie to check out. Um, the Man Who Invented Christmas about Charles Dickens writing A Christmas Carol with a Scrooge. It's a really, really good movie. And that movie to me is all about that. Getting to that place where all of us have some part of us it's trying to protect ourselves. Getting to a point where you allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to feel, feel those emotions. Truly feel them. That, that journey is going to be unique to each one of us. But just remember, it just requires a little bit of lightening up where you're at. Things can feel pretty, pretty dark at the time. I suggest not telling somebody to lighten up when they're in their, their depth. <laughs> Learned that lesson many times. You find your way, find your way to lighten up a little bit in your life and See what you find on the other end of it. It might just amaze you. Well, that's good for today. I think I'll add just a little, a little bit to lighten this painting up there. Ooh, just a touch. Okay. Get out your own brushes. See what you can do to maybe lighten up your process. And we'll see you tomorrow.